He loves on the screen right now. Pac-Man and Joker. <laughs> I got. I threw a little sarcasm <laughs> in there because uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't like fighting these characters, which obviously means they're very strong, right? Yeah, they're, they're doing something right. If you're playing your opponent and they're getting aggravated, it never never take it personally. That just means you're doing something right. And yeah, maybe exactly. they don't have the right answer. As you can see, I don't really see these two players really being more uh, of the negative emotions. T is actually a very emotional player, but it's usually positive. You just like see him pop off or like reel in his chair or something. Yeah, yeah. Very. Uh, most Japanese players are very animated. Yeah, I love it. So uh, w whatever they're feeling, uh, they'll show it. <laughs> and we got those player cams set up, so you know. I'm just saying, wait for like a big hit that MK Leo gets on T that he wasn't quite expecting. You're gonna see him like almost fall out of this chair. It's gonna be great. Yeah, and right here, right now, we got the early Arsene coming out for uh, Leo. Usually, we don't see Leo's Arsene come out this early. Usually, the non-Arsene Joker can get somewhat of a lead, and then the Arsene pops up, which just goes to show how talented of a player T is to get the early lead like this. Because when you pop the Arsene, you don't really have to worry about dying, right? Right, right. You don't. But I mean, it's like pop it early. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but T was actually, you know, really doing a good job of pressuring MK Leo. He was forced to use a Rebel Guard, which is why we saw the early Arsene come out. But T is going to take his time making it back to stage. Okay, just escaping and weaving around those back airs. Those back airs are so famous for covering a lot of space and sending, uh, having a good amount of launch. Yeah, now it's very interesting with Pac-Man. Uh, he has a, ve a lot of bonus fruits. As you can see, he has the bell right now. The bell does stun the target. So usually when, uh, when T is getting ready for the kill, he'll get the bell out. Um, right there, he tried to force the roll there, try to get a forward smash. Uh, Pac-Man's Pac smash attacks are very, very powerful, and they linger as well. Yeah, one trick with the bell is that it actually retains his hitbox when it bounces off the ground. Yes. You can see as soon as the bell touched MK Leo's shield, he immediately jumped just so he could be out of that position. Yeah. Does not want to get pressured more than once for having an item thrown at him. Great DI out from T there on that fair one. Most people not ready for that fair one DI, and um, you know you just get followed up right by a drag down combo into the smash attack, and that's not what you want. That's also, he doesn't want that back air to connect the grab. I mean, it did get buffed, but it's still not the greatest grab in the game. I mean, it's telegraphed, it's slow, but guess what isn't slow? The up smash coming out after the bell, cleaning out that stock. T keeping the percents extremely close because it's the same number. Yeah, and the spaceship right here, we, we always see Pac-Man's bring out the spaceship, right, that little percent, because you have those combos. and. Usually, and that's the cool thing about Pac-Man, he has all these different bonus fruits you want to use in different situations. That's right, okay, we see an up air connecting onto T and dropping down. Oh, oh man. the, the Hydrant down. didn't, did it connect? Kind yeah, it, it hit, it, yeah, oh, it, the start. Leo gotcha. hit him and the Hydrant, and the Hydrant hit T as well, so it just did a lot of damage. All right, right that's why that Nair did 30. You got yeah. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here it is, there's the Spaceship combos. Wow, almost finishing it off, too, with the very last bit. But, I mean, he didn't get the kill, but I see a lot of damage on MK Leo right now. Bloody with uh, with Joker is not a good look. Dash attack right underneath the cherry there. And this is the momentum that Leo needs with Arsene. But it's dwindling out, and there goes Arsene. No more super Joker anymore. But he's gotten a lot of percent. He's kind of got his foot footing back in this stock number two. Yeah, down air out of shield. Oh, wow, sniping wow. with the orange. Dang. Like I said, there's so many bonus fruits with so many different attributes. And wow, just... These guys are just getting the revenge thoughts right when they're spawning in from the angel platform. Love it. Who needs time for neutral runaway game? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, what's happening in, in both players' minds? But guess what? That's what's going to keep this game close. That's what's going to keep it exciting. Yeah. And a lot of the bonus fruits too. When you fly them, they can fly at different angles. Obviously, too. The orange and melon. They they fly straight. So that, that was just a really really good game. Touching up on that previous stock. But right now, Leo already going to work 70% on the T. Just like that. And this is what I'm talking about. Leo's non Arsene Joker is very strong. That's why I was very surprised in that first stock that uh, T was able to get this early lead, but not on this third stock, man. Leo looks like he has all the control of this game. All right. yeah. Momentum is in Leo's favor at oh, the yeah. moment. And until T is able to take it back, uh, we're not really going to see Arsene coming out. Okay, but we got a string here, the landing there into the grab combo from Pac Man. That up throw up air is true now. Okay, still. Now he's got the spaceship. He definitely wants. The, those early combos. Oh man, you are very brave, T. You're wow. a very brave man, and that grab was so confident, but it was just out of reach, and Leo converting the fair one into the back air. T looking a little tight after that. Oh man, well, if you just think about like how close that entire game was. Outside of the third stock, it was extremely back and forth, and there were, you know, good portions of the game where T just had full control. MK Leo could have put his controller down, and it still would have been the same sequence. Yeah, yeah.
And of course, uh, MKLeo, no need for introductions, the uh, best player in the entire world. Echo yeah. Fox MKLeo. Echo Fox MKLeo. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and um, of course, T, the best Pac-Man in the world, hailing from Japan. A lot of Japan players came out for this event. I believe 21 total. A lot of, a lot of Japanese players came in. It's all thanks I mean, to you that guys. Was just Japan too. Yeah, I mean, there's t worldwide talent from Europe, from uh, South America as well, and it's all thanks to you guys. And I mean, it's all about the community, like funding the compendiums and all that. So it's all thanks to you guys, man. Of course. Now, that's one thing that Grab's got going for it. You know, it does last quite a long time. MK Leo tried to spot dodge fast, and he still got grabbed. Oh yeah. That, 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 it does beat spot dodge because yeah. it's just that lingering it just factor, right? Stays forever. <laughs> Okay, and right now, Leo getting, and this is so important. If Leo gets at least like 80 to 100%, when the Arsene comes, it's prime time for the kill, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, as I'm saying, here comes Leo, the Arsene right on cue, and wow, the key just gets blown back from the Hydro Walk. Yeah, it does affect all the projectiles that Pac-Man's going to be throwing out. Um, normally, we'll see like adjust the trajectory and the angle that the key is being thrown at, uh, but typically the Pac-Man's account for it, and they're actually planning on it. Oh, yeah. And if you guys haven't already, make sure. Oh, wait. No cross up on the up air, though. Oh, return. Wait. OK, what's the edge guard? Oh, oh and that, that side B also has uh, super armor on it as well. So it can be really hard to um, edge guard. And Leo, even though Pac-Man is one of the hardest characters in the game to edge guard because the recovery is so good, he, he succeeds at it. Yeah, air dodge, man. <laughs> just having just a little bit too much lag. And T, uh, of course, being afraid of getting him in the back air. He had to air dodge there. He would have lost his stock. But it looked like it was just a trap where there was no winning. Yeah. yeah. Here comes the bell, though. T going to pick it right back up while throwing out the down air as well. I love all of the multi-coverage we're seeing from T off stage. But Leo still able to weave around it. Yeah, and the character knowledge, of course, you know, if you throw the bell more than once, if you throw it two times, you can't pick it back up. You can see, like, T just throw out the bell to set up the trap, completely disregards it. If it didn't hit, guess what? I'll come back to it in a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. Always get that round two. Very great coverage on the downward gun drift in there. That's going to be a very common option from Joker, just because it's so damn good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, down good, very hard to contest from underneath. But we saw T actually contesting it horizontally was what you need to do. That's right. Having the platform in a good position, not really allowing MKLeo to be in a position where he can cover more than one option. So MKLeo was forced to really tackle out the, the trampoline. Even using the, the hydrant as a wall, AR wasn't able to break it. Yeah, and Leo knows that he's in the lead here. He does not have to approach, even if it means uh, this Arsene just kind of does damage instead of taking the stock. But now he's got a situation. Beautiful tech coming out from T. That was his life on the line. Yeah, especially with the way that MK Leo is fishing for down airs. He, there was no thought about his own stock. He just was beelining for those down airs. And Leo, again, again, another SD from T. I mean, the first one, maybe not so much, but that one was for sure on that second stock was an SD. But the backer connects. T is down an entire stock. We'll see what he can do to bring this game number two somewhat back into his favor. Well, he has a little bit of a hill to climb, but with the spaceship combo, it's definitely possible. A couple of forward airs going for the grab. Yes, going to get it. And here comes more damage from T. All right, so I mean, T's doing great right now, but what happens when uh, the big scary man comes out? Oh, Our the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what oh. is. Okay, really? I mean, I don't. Mm, that's that's I guess, characteristic. I of guess D. if you're gonna SD like multiple times, just do it all in one game. Yeah, that's like the one justification I can say. Like, obviously, it still sucks. Obvi like, there's no it's, way it's, to sugarcoat it. It's like, almost that just like sucks. he forfeited an entire game. Yes, but I mean, I I think T he can shake it off. Yes. He can come back into the set. And you know you got to take it one game at a time. So coming into game three, he's got to take this, get himself at least on the board, mm -hmm. and then worry about game four and five later. But right now we're gonna go to Pokemon Stadium. Of course, both players are gonna stay same characters. Yeah, with the character select, no surprise there. I'm expecting and hoping for five games of Joker versus Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah. T is always a uh, uh, very. Much so of a treat to watch. And not a I lot mean, of pac man that do it at this He does level. have other characters, though. He just doesn't really bring them out in, in tournament. You may see him like in squad strike or possibly Jeez. doubles. But in singles, it's all about this yellow ball. Yeah, and man, this yellow ball is taking a beating right now because T just got strung all the way across the stage there. Ooh, reverse up air, though. Double back air, and he tries to get the cherry on top. Wow, not only did he try and get the cherry on top, he tried to put the F smash on MK Leo. That just an immense amount of pressure was 
insane. It was like almost like a ballet of attacks coming from T. It covered so many options. Yeah, and it, it was crazy because Leo started off the match so strong and like just pretty much zero to eighty them, and then T kind of just did it right back to him, right? And that's really good for T because during that whole time he's hitting him when the R sends up, he's draining meter as well. Right, right. Okay, well, up smash out of shield, and that's gonna take the first stock for T. Will MK Leo be able to get a revenge kill, or is T gonna be able to get some extra credit? Yeah, we've seen so many revenge kills, and T just waiting the whole thing out right there, 50%, and we're still keeping the pressure on the Nair, attacking a little bit more on the way out here for T. That's true, and MK Leo didn't see that coming. You know, he would have been in a tech situation. It could have been bad news for MK Leo, but that's the best player in the world here. Of course, he's gonna be ready to attack. Oh, of course. And right now, T, man, that shield looking very, very low, but he was angling it as much as he could. And he doesn't survive the first Arsene, but at least he completely drains it out here coming into this second stock. That's right. Not only is Arsene gone, but he did put 70% onto MK Leo. And counting here, he's got the ledge trap with the bell. Very strong. He can throw Ooh, it down. Oh, okay, okay. The mix. Okay, T. He, he dropped the hydrant and the bell there, but Leo still able to get through here. Oh, nice. He uses the little hop from the up B to go high there. Usually something, uh, jo most jokers go low, so. Very, very creative mix up there from MKLeo. Yeah, MKLeo was actually forced to go high. T it covered the uh, the trajectory of the grapple with a strawberry and a falling down air. Oh, wow. What a trade for T. The forward smash and the nair collide. But of course, uh, T going to come out on top with that. Mm -hmm. and here comes more spaceship. Getting grabbed out of the trampoline. That's something we don't see. Yeah, yeah. On the way up, you still can get grabbed. There's the down gun. T trying to recover, and yes, I mean, even though Downgun very good for getting those gimps, T does have that armor on the side B. Forward smash connects, but T barely surviving here. Only racked up 10% right now. Leo is just full control, even though he's the one that just lost the stock. That's right. Now we're going to see the trampoline. Great, great angle. It's going to force T off the ledge, make him pick an option. Now, MK Leo still on the hunt, doubling the damage 20%. Wow. 20%. Leo's so good at getting these stocks without Arsene. I will say it time and time again, he's just so good at it. And that, that's what really separates Leo's Joker from everyone else's Joker. A lot of other Jokers, they depend so hard on Arsene for the stock, mm -hmm. but Leo is so good at landing these F smashes, so good at just finding the creative ways and these edge guards without Arsene, and that's what makes his Joker so good. Okay, well we got Arsene is here, the final boss. Trying to make sure that his man MK Leo gets a 3-0 on T, but T's time, you know, T's clocked in. He's going, to, he's going to work. I think T can at least get this game. I, I'm, I feel like at least we're going to see a game number four. We'll see if uh, if Leo is going to close it out though. This this Arsen is uh, definitely hitting. Wow, that was so smart from T. He didn't grab the ledge right when MK Leo was trying to get a ledge from. All right, return. Arsen is gone, but. Like I said, Leo very strong. Look at that. Already going for the F smash. Another F smash back to back. T shield looking so low. He's forced to parry and barely surviving that up smash. That's right. Drag down, up smash. Whoa, that hydrant was looking dangerous. Okay, T's going to have to get off the ledge. Oh, okay, double Whoa! chip. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> he was so close to getting the clip. Oh, man. The, you, you hate to see it, but T is still in this game. That's right. That's right. MK Leo is still fishing. Drag down. Up air is not going to find F smash connects, and that's going to be one game for T. T is on the board. Yep. Game number three. Uh, I called it, bro. I called it. Yeah, you did. You were <laughs> saying that he was going to get this game. You know, I'm I'm still saying that I hope we get a game five. It's oh, yes. It's going to be very, yes. very tough for, for T to bring. See, I, I don't know if Ooh. I can promise you guys Ooh. game four, though. Game four <laughs> Leo is, is something else. Game four Leo is something else. You know what? Uh, O2 Leo is probably like the the hidden boss. If there was yeah. a Dark Void in Smash 4, we have Dark Leo in Smash Ultimate. Oh yeah, 100%. All right, so T gets himself on the board after a very shaky game number two. Look at and that, he's, he's reeling from it. He's he's taking his deep breaths, making sure he's in the correct mindset, resetting himself, and preparing for game four. All right, so we are back here. Pokemon Stadium is the stage. Okay, T starting very, very strong here. But we have the Rebels guard coming out, which means Arsene going to make a little earlier of an appearance than usual, for the, at least for the first talk. That's right, especially with T only being at 38%. And now here comes the Arsene. Okay, now T kind of on the defense here. He's got to play from his back foot. Arsene extremely strong, but wow, swinging in with the forward air. Very aggressive landing coming out from T. Okay. Landing that back here. Getting rid of that hydrant, using the counter. 
Oh, wow. A tool that's... that we haven't seen uh, from MKLeo in the first three games. Yeah, yeah and that, that is going to be something that beats out the side B. Off the top, no, we are still alive. And now, T not even going for the side B to ledge when the Arsene is out. He's just going to go extremely high and just really stall out the Arsene. Very, very nice play. And now Arsene is gone. Or it's Smash, wow, that lingering hitbox. Yeah, getting that straight hit. Not going to be able to get the kill, but hey, free punish from landing the bell. In there. T getting another forward smash, knowing exactly where Leo wants to land and reset. And again with the bell. And T was getting like jammed that first talk too. Yeah, he, he just, was. He just brought it back. And that, that's the thing about T, man, he's very, very experienced. Ex Pac Man extraordinary. Okay, and look, just like that, one combo is all it took, and now that Arsene meter is full. Persona is the word, and now he's here. And of course, T taking his sweet time. Making sure he makes it back to stage. Look at that, burned a quarter of the meter. Yeah, very, very smart coming out from T. The uh, Hydrant right there when he's throwing it down does stall a little bit of time. And of course you have the trampling with multiple charges. Mm -hmm. And already uh, two thirds now, and this Arsene is almost up. T is playing this incredibly well. Yeah, just one side B is all the work that MKLeo has gotten for this Arsene. And now back to the stall game. All right, it's gone. It's time to get back on stage, T. Yep, <laughs> now I'll play. <laughs> now, yeah, now we can I'll play, play you now. Yeah, check these ghosts, by the way. <laughs> wow, and look at this. Already, T is at 171 and 100. And <laughs> I thought I just messed him up. No, 180 and counting, for sure. I thought he was Still on his first backer. stock. Yeah, I thought Well, the trampoline messed up the grab. Wow, that's so smart coming out from T. And that, the trampoline out of shield is so good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this back air. Not going to do it. Not from center stage. Not <laughs> without Arson. What is this DI coming out from <laughs> T? He's still alive, 193%. On oh, the pack. Aha is approaching the point where just the side B is going to take the stock. I, I know, right at this point. And T, and he's still taking a little bit of that dot damage. Oh, okay. Apples. Is T going to take out another stock before going? Okay, you're no, down. No, no, down, no, down throw. Down back throw. Back throw. What? Back throw. Back, back throw. How? Hey. Why, why were you even DIing that? That's what I want to know. Like, that's crazy that he was able to do that. And T is still alive. 225%. I think this man just <laughs> owned, like, earned the medal for like longest surviving stock at Congo Saga. I mean, 100%. We're, we're approaching three minutes. It took it took two minutes and 50 seconds to take that stock, and Jeez. it was a two frame down air <laughs> at 250 plus percent. T made Leo work for that first stock. Arsene is out, and this is already another Arsene gone, and T is in such a great position to take this game four from Leo. And man, we're, we're gassing up game four, Leo. Yeah, we were. We were saying look, like, you know, this. this is when the adjustments come out. You know, we start to see a different beast of MK Leo, but you know, T the T train is still rolling. He has not checked into the station just yet. Yeah, and I mean, just his ability to turn that around after game two, after like those two to three SDs, amazing, amazing resilience coming out from T. Taking his time, and I mean, if anyone's going to be patient, it's going to be a Pac-Man. <laughs> For sure, especially when you have traps like Key and and uh, Hydrant. Okay, but there's the there's the fair one. All right, we've seen, we've seen a lot of work get done with fair one. Yeah. And I mean, is is uh, T gonna get caught fishing a little too hard for this kill? Is that is that gonna be Leo's opening to bring it back? I feel like he's like stock? not even fishing for a kill at this point. He's just trying to make sure he retains his stock and take more, give more damage while where he can do it. Bro, you know what I noticed? When uh, Pac-Man has the the side B dot on him, yeah. When he's charging the fruit, his his like face is scared. <laughs> he's like in fear. <laughs> it's it's like I was like, why why is he so scared? I was like, oh, he has the dot on. Him. I guess he's taking damage. It's weird. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. You're fighting someone who uh, has a ghost that come out of nowhere. <laughs> and Pac-Man is used to dealing with ghosts. Yeah, true. Very experienced in that department. Of course, we have the bell. And Leo still surviving, man. He's, he's already racked 103. Pretty much brought this second stock back, bringing this game back into his favor. And I mean, maybe this is game four Leo actually coming out now. Wow! wow. How did, did Leo MK know? Leo know? How did, did Leo know? <laughs> How did Leo know? <laughs> Bro, he, he bounced the... He bounced the bell off the backboard, but the orange snipe off stage. All right, so T still with the stock lead, still with the control in this game number four against Leo. That's right, charging up a little bit of a little bit of fruit where you can. But approaching with these fair ones, really, really scary, especially from MK Leo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now Leo really needs to get the stock. There's the side B bounces, and we're back onto the ledge. I mean, MK Leo has gone for this ledge trump a couple times now, but he hasn't been able to get a single one on T. It seems like whenever uh, T starts opting for the side B. He seems to always bounce off the wall or hold down, make sure that he is not grabbing the ledge uh, before MKLeo. Okay, now it's T finally back on stage here. Going to get some of these traps set up. The Hydrant throwing the key right there. Leo avoiding it. And finally, T gets a little bit of damage racked in. Mm -hmm. 
you know, putting 21 on. That's not easy on MK Leo. Leo's just so good at killing momentum too. Like right there, T just felt like he had all the control, and Leo just slowed it down to the point where it's just like you're not, you're not, you're just not hitting me. Like. I mean, no one was getting hit, really. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. like straight hits hitting T here and there. As you can see, those straight hits definitely added up. They added up to a percent where Persona back air is going to hit and going to take a stock. All right, so T waiting a little bit on the Angel platform, burning some of that meter. Um, the meter does burn out through time as well. And it looks like Leo doesn't want to get too aggressive. If he's going to get some chip damage in with the projectiles, he's fine with that for this Arsene. He's going to have another one in this stock to clutch it out. Mm -hmm. That's true. Even if we see like a, a combo montage coming out from T, the, it's going to eat up enough percent and enough aura where we are going to see another 80%. Whew. Okay. Yeah, Start the timer, Korean. Yeah, it might be a little rough. Usually when Leo's playing safe like that, he, he's doing it so he doesn't take too much damage. So the second Arsene comes a little earlier, right? But he took like a good amount of damage. Already at 100 and the meter's not even half. Okay, meter at half with 116. The bell going to be in a position where it's going to take a stock. T as long as MK Leo can avoid the bell, really yeah. up, up smash out of shield, he should be okay. The goal for Leo right now is to if he either just take full control of the game or you take enough damage for Arsene to come out. T should, like, if he's able to take the stock without doing more damage, then he doesn't have to deal with Arsene. Just completely skip that. But right now, it's really looking close to this Arsene. Wait okay. a minute, down smash. Yeah, down smash. You're putting T. Wow, what happened? are what you was serious? That? The back air? That deep? Really? That's how it ends? <laughs> Leo, we can't even see the character models, bro. <laughs> Can you keep it in the camera, Leo? Can you keep it in the camera? We want to know what's going on, man. We, we want to see what's happening. I actually wasn't 